Pete here and I'm back for another Funbridge tournament. Uh, to play this all you have to do is download Funbridge and I'll show you how to jump into it. So when in Funbridge you want to click get started slash practice, exclusive tournaments and view all tournaments and then search for Bridgefit or Pete Hollands. So let's give it a shot, see how we can go. So this is eight boards of imps. We've had 142 play, people play it and currently leading is Pip Pirate with plus 31. In second place is Rickmer Zero plus 24 and taking out the third spot is Ben Gun 23. So plus 21. So a good show in there. We'll just have a quick, uh, ooh, can't compete with Pete, plus 16. So we've got a uh, marker for where we want to go. Looks like under rough. I haven't seen that before, but plus 14. So under roughing must uh, work pretty well there. Um, so keep that in mind if you're about to play it. And yeah, just down to the plus five. So there looks like there's a few boards that we can get some swings on, but probably a few flat ones that we'll expect there. Must beat Pete minus one. So can I go positive? Okay, uh, so 11 high card points, partner up into spade. I want to show three card support and a fit. Um, so I just want to check, oh, whoops. I was, <laughs> this was a bad start. I wanted to check what the meaning of three hearts was. I didn't mean to click it, um, but uh, I've bid a natural bid there. Um, yeah, let's try playing in four spades. Four no, okay. Um, well, I got one. <laughs> Oops. I have diamonds. Do you have the queen? Uh, no. Oh wow, five spades says I hold the queen of trumps. What do I have to do? Five. Oh, okay, they do the step saying I don't have it. Oh <laughs> no. Okay, um, <laughs> uh, damn, miss clicks. All right, so I kind of want to play in such a way that four spades goes down too. Um, so I'm clearly going to go off in this. I've got like <laughs> a diamond loser, the ace of hearts. I can't keep my heart losers to just one. Um, and I've got club losers. So damage control, and I think this is kind of important. I kind of want to lay out where four spades goes down. So instead of losing a massive swing, um, I only lose a bit. So um, in four spades, you've got losing the ace of diamonds, the ace of hearts, hopefully the queen of hearts too, and you have to deal with clubs. So I want the club layout to be bad. Um, I want the queen of spades to be in an awkward spot. So maybe get a bad spade break, uh, like these kinds of things. I, like, I really want the layout to be quite bad for people in four spades so that they, they go down. Um, that being said, partner might only be playing in three spades. But, uh, yeah. So, diamond lead. And they return to diamond. Please rough. Okay, good news. Step one. Maybe it goes ace of diamonds, diamond rough. And uh, heart to the ace, diamond rough. Something like uh, that in... Um, when playing in four spades. Okay, so east passed, so I don't think they've got ace to six diamonds in the other ace. So let's try and draw trumps quickly. Show me four one spades, please. No, spades are breaking three two. So we'll uh, draw another trump. Okay. So I had six, so the opponents had seven. They've still got three left. Uh, I might play a diamond, see. Okay, they're roughed with the queen of hearts, so. Uh, I think I have to duck this. Okay, good news. Okay, we're only down two, but uh, I don't think the layout was bad enough that um, four spades doesn't make okay so maybe they lose like a trick in all the suits spade spade rough heart and a club 
<laughs> Lost eight. Uh, yeah, so too optimistic that. Some people were going down in that. Uh, surprisingly, I was the only one um, that played in five hearts. The reason I wanted to check what uh, uh, three hearts was is I didn't know what my raise structure was. And I didn't think it was going to be like three hearts, but some people use three hearts as a three card limit raise. I didn't think I'd set that up, but I was trying to uh, do that. Not focused, thought I was playing no trump. Big mistake. Probably not as big a mistake as mine, but uh, yeah. Uh, luckily, I condensed that into down eight, um, but uh, could have had a easy plus five. So some people once made two clubs game forcing. I think that's quite optimistic there. Um, yeah, so th like this was what I was going to look at next, but uh, yeah, so just show a three card invite and then get to four spades that way uh so this is the normal way that you're going to do it um but yeah i wanted just to check my options and then clicked one but uh down eight so can we recover from that good old damage control so we got 16 highs five four two two so uh normal opening bid is one spade i could consider one no trump but i've got two low clubs i don't really like that so we'll stick with one spade one spade, three spades, just five to seven and weak. Four no trumps, two suitor. So like, east two's a passed hand, should have like a six five. Um, I think that I'm gonna score ace king of diamonds and probably the ace of hearts because they're gonna have most likely a void in spades, not hearts. So I wanna try and double them wherever they get to. Um, just hope that west doesn't have a singleton there. Um, Okay, so East had a 5-5. Five, five. I think they could have just bid 3-0 no as a passed hand. I don't think they need to bid uh, 5, um, like 4 no trumps and force your partner. Anyway, my partner's got 3 to 7 points, uh, I think, 5 to 7 points. And they don't, they've got 4 spades, so spades are 2-2. Two, two. Um, we've got 2 diamonds and a heart, assuming West doesn't have a singleton there. Ace of clubs, good card partner. So we'll win that. Um, take the ace of hearts. It's not really going anywhere. But um, see so if they rough, they don't. Like I could have, like my partner's not gonna have the king of hearts, but I could have like tried the diamond low heart to my partner sort of play. Um, at this stage, I just wanna put them back in the dummy. They might find it awkward getting off. Nope. But uh, plus, like down two, so good score. Plus four imps. Some people got to buy it in four spades. One spade passed two spades because they didn't have the preemptive raise. Their partner only bid two no trumps, which showed the minors. I, I still think a three no bid should as a passed hand as well. Uh, and this West hand with five card club support didn't bid five clubs. They only bid to four clubs. So they bought it in four spades. Anyway, I will take my four imps there for doubling that. Other people doubled four clubs, yeah. I wouldn't be so keen to double four clubs. Here we've got 15 highs, five, one, three, four, so one spade. Okay, do I want to compete? Usually bidding again would show sort of 16 plus points. I'm one point shy, but the vulnerability's right. Let's try and compete. Okay, and my partner is not interested. Not having a bar of that. Okay, I've got a really awkward hand to lead from. Um, I usually despise leading singleton trumps. Um, and I'm not sure if I should change my mind on that on this one or not. But the main reason for not liking it is they get, it picks up partners holding. Here I've already revealed to the, my opponents that a heart's a, like, what's happening in hearts. Here West jumped to four hearts, so usually they've got a bunch of points in the hand, types of hands where they've got a bunch of points is when they've also got spades. So I presume that West will have like four spades, probably to the king. And maybe it's good just to start ace of spades, queen of spades. Hopefully my partner can rough that and get back to me. So we'll go for that rather than the trump lead. Okay, uh, so West had... They didn't have that. They had 10, 12 points with a five card heart suit, just too weak to overcall. Um, but they had the king of spades, so that's all right. I don't think any of the other cards are going anywhere. We've got 12 opposite 15, 27, 
aced uh, balanced here, so my partner's got very little in the way of points. Um, I don't see a good way to try and beat this, so we'll just exit there, see what they do. Looks like they're taking a finesse, but I'm not sure yet. Okay, good news, my partner didn't have a king of hearts, so they could have cards elsewhere. I'll let go of the spade. Okay, so East had four spades. So East is a four, uh, four, five, like two, two or three, one. Okay, so I've got one diamond. So my partner had a stack of diamonds. I had queen jack to six diamonds. So we probably had a good sacrifice in uh, that. My partner can't have the, the clubs, so. But also the clubs aren't going anywhere. Um, yeah. I can afford one club. East only has three. We'll duck this and then score two club tricks. Uh, but we probably do pretty well in five diamonds. Flat board. Some people got to four spades down one. So they doubled and then bid four spades. Oh wait, my partner had seven diamonds. I miscounted. I reckon my partner should be bidding five diamonds over four hearts. Passing is good. When I make a takeout double at this vulnerability, I reckon it's right to bid five diamonds. On this deal, you could have made four diamonds. I wanted to invite partner to, to sacrifice option after one spade, pass, pass, two hearts, double, four hearts, pass, pass. Wanted to bid four no, but it was described as Roman key card in spades, which seems crazy. Frustrating because he had an easy five diamond bid then, which is a nice sack. Uh, did anyone look at what doubling again is? Um, I, I don't think your hand's appropriate for it, but I think that's better than bidding four no, because uh, you still might have a spade fit that partner didn't want to bid for whatever reason. So spades might still be where you want to be. Um, board number four. So currently we're neg four, but uh, most of that was on, well, all of the negative part of that was on uh, the first board. 22 highs and I think uh, two no trumps here is 20 to 22. Um, but here, um, like this hand's kind of too good. I've only got one ace though. But I've got a five card suit, so I'm going to treat this as 23 balanced and just open two clubs and bid two no trumps. Partner transferred to hearts and said, okay, let's play four hearts. Good news, I didn't miss bid, like misclick anything. So I might have missed bid, but no misclicks. Anyway, uh, we got the three aces that are missing. Um, it basically looks like we want to pick up the, the heart queen. And there was three passes. Um, so let's just see what happens in diamonds. We got the two of diamonds lead. Jack of clubs. So it looks like a singleton or doubleton. Okay, so we're going to catch the ace of hearts. I can't actually get to the dummy anyway. So it looks like I'm just banging down ace king. Um, but... I could do something like lead the king of spades and if east has the ace then they've shown up with ace ace jack and oh, they could still have it yeah i don't have any good way of um finding out if east had three to the queen okay so we're, we're down one here uh what ace haven't they taken yet oh the, the spade ace okay um Right, uh, they, I can run clubs and discard my spades, but ace can trump in. So if I play like club, club and ditch a spade, they will rough in. So my best bet is they don't know what their partner's got. So we'll play a heart and see if they found the spade discard uh, switch, which they do. Like my other players hope that they had three clubs, but they switched to the jack, so they should really have a doubleton. And I thought just playing and discarding the spades was really obvious what was going on. 
So down two. Some people just got the three hearts when I guess they didn't upgrade the hand. Just open two no. Partner transfers and passes. This is a good game contract, so I'm not sad about getting to there. So I think that's a good, good spot to be in. I go and transfers or not on a two no opening, depending on the settings. I imagine, but not on a two club followed by two no. Almost human gambling. Yeah, playing in two no trumps is like. I don't know. This person opened two clubs and rebid two no. I like to me there's just an easy transfer. I'm not, not sure why they didn't. Anyway, currently neg six, lost eight on the first board with a misclick. Moving on to board number five, and we've got a triple four one fifteen with a singleton king. I think I'm gonna treat this one as balanced and open a no trump. Um, this is like the worst case scenario if my partner passes. Which they did. But uh, that's alright. We like, it's not the end of the world playing in two spades here. Um, like, the other option is, like, I open a diamond, partner bids a spade, I have to then, like, rebid two clubs or something. I don't like opening a diamond and rebidding one no trump because that's going to show a balanced hand anyway, and then just the wrong sort of point count. So, I think just sort of planning a couple of bids, then you can work out that you want to open a no trump, and then just hope that, that partner doesn't transfer and pass you. Uh, this hand looks like it's just going to be an absolute uh, bloodbath here. Oh wow, that's Singleton. Okay, I'm drawing trumps the hard way. Um, Alright, so East had Ace King Jack of Clubs, which is eight. They've got a Singleton Diamond. They had five clubs. So if they had a 5 4 3 1, they would have. Um, opened the bidding if they had the king of hearts so they might have the queen of spades but that's it so we're going in um, there and just going to try and draw trumps okay they're going to run out of tricks soon um, they've still got one more but um, Haha, <laughs> we're, we're getting some tricks. Okay, there we go. Just down four. Okay, so this will lose a bunch, but it's a pretty bad layout anyway. I only lose two imps, right? So it was like the worst case scenario for me. Um, people, Whatever you did, people were going down. So like, if you open a diamond and bid two clubs, partner props you back into two diamonds. I think bidding two no's like an overbid, like you're showing the same sort of hand. Uh, but you're sort of forcing to the two no, like two level. So if you're going to tr treat it as this, I, I think just opening a no trumps is usually the best bet, but uh, obviously failed miserably here. Moving on to board number six. Okay, we've got 11 highs and we're favorable, but the opponent's open to diamonds, so double just looks like one no trump. Um, right, Queen of Diamonds lead. So we've got the club suit. The opponents have a spade fit but didn't bid. Uh, they've got 10, 11, opposite 11, 22. So there's uh, 18 missing. East could be a balanced hand. So if they're balanced, they're either 18, 19 balanced and have all the missing points of Ace, King, Ace, King, King, Jack. Or they have like... 13, 14 balanced, and West has four or five, or they are unbalanced and any sort of range. This looks like I'm not even going to make one no trump, I'm playing it from the wrong way. Uh, they're going to get whatever diamond tricks, so like three diamonds, ace, king, ace. Um, I've got four clubs and the ace of diamonds, so five tricks. So let's just duck a couple. Um, I'm going to win the third. Okay, so East has five diamonds. So they got four diamonds, ace, king, ace, if I let them in again. And they're going to get in. So this just looks like cash out and take my down two and see if they give me an extra trick in the wash. So we just cash the clubs. And I'm just going to exit a diamond in the ending. Oh, 
hold on to hearts here and spades in the other hand. Yeah, okay, so down two, but at least we went low there. So we got one imp for going down two there. Some people bid two clubs. Two clubs doesn't like usually show that many points. Like, the description here is 10 points at, at most. Um, you'd usually want to jump in response to the double to say that you had a good hand. Um, this only has 11 points, but two clubs leaves like no real prospect of getting higher into game. So I like one no trump there. Um, but yeah. Uh, down seven imps, maybe down one imp depending on what you want to call uh, the one, the first board. But, uh, flat eight count, that's a pass. Diamond, a spade. I can bid a no trump here, which shows like a little bit extra, like eight to 10. Um, I kind of want to make it take out double now, but um, double says between three and four spades, three and four clubs, two and three diamonds, two and three. Just like, I don't have a maximum hand. I kind of want to compete here. Two no shows an invite. I really despise having two no. It's just like invitational. I kind of want to get to like three clubs or three diamonds. And I either want to be able to make a takeout double, which double is, it isn't clear that that's what I'm showing. Or have two no say pick a minor, um, which it isn't clear that I'm showing. Um, so... I just have to gamble. Um, I'd want to really offer diamonds as well, but I'm going to bid three clubs. Okay. So we have a double fit, which is good. Uh, two spades looks like it would lose two spades, two diamonds and a heart and maybe a club. Um, my losers here, I have two sp one spade loser, which I can trump, one diamond loser, one heart loser and some club losers. I kind of want to draw trumps I could go king of spades, ace of spades, rough of spade, uh, and then try and draw trumps, but they'll be able to force me. So I actually just want to play a club because the other thing I could do is throw uh, my spade on the, the diamonds. So we'll win my right hand opponent's the one who overcalled. Just win that. I still can play another club. Um, okay, they're 4 1. Okay. So, um, I could play King of Spades, Ace of Spades, Rough of Spades. Give up a heart. I think I want to give up a heart early. Um, so if I give up a heart, they can play a club then, uh, but then I can duck a diamond. Yeah, I've mistimed this hand a bit. Um, I'm worried that West has a singleton diamond. So when would they have a singleton diamond? They've got three spades, four clubs. I'd have to have five hearts. Um, I could also play a spade to the ace diamond up, uh, but then I can't rough that. Let's just uh, they play a heart and they play a club. I can just duck a diamond at that stage. Hmm. I should have ducked like I've, I've made a mistake here. I should have ducked that earlier heart. I would have made my communications a lot better. Um, so they let a diamond, which is kind of like a weird lead. So maybe it's a singleton. If it's a singleton diamond, I don't think there's anything I can do. Ah, well, I can play spade to the ace and rough a spade and exit a heart. Like that. If they play a diamond here and rough, there's nothing that they can do. So this was the way to untangle it. I'm surprised it took me so long to work out how to, to do that. But anyway, we, we made... Uh, Making three. Hopefully win a few imps because I think two spades also makes. Yeah, two spades, 
uh, minus 110, but uh, yeah, plus six imps. So I really wanted to compete. I don't like the robot's methods. They're too no to say, hey, I've got 10 points when I've already shown like that hand. I think it's unnecessary. I think the hands you want to be able to have uh, hands that might want to compete to a minor. So getting to three clubs worked. I wasn't happy with the methods I had available, but so be it. Okay, one heart, two diamonds. This is an awkward hand. So I wanted to find some sort of bid. Um, three diamonds is like an interesting choice. This is at least two cards, yeah. I could bid three clubs, which I don't really like. Um, it's natural enforcing. So I could bid two hearts, which is a Q rate, Q bid. It says at least 11 points enforcing. We might get too high. Um, I think three diamonds will get us to where we want to get to most of the time. But if my partner's got a good hand, though, they might compete. They're not going to expect I'm this strong, but usually I'll have an extra diamond. Um, so I might go that approach, but I think two hearts is fair as well. Okay, so here three no would not make, because they'll eat a heart and you'll lose four hearts and a diamond. Five diamonds looks like it loses a heart, a spade, and a diamond, but you can take the finesse into the opening bidder. So I think we've done reasonably well here. Um, so I could win here and take a club finesse. Um, we've done well in the bidding, so I'm not sure if I should do that. Let's say the club finesse loses. I then lose a club, a heart, a spade, and a diamond. Um, but we're still making, unless they get some sort of spade rough. Um, but here, oh, West is the opening bidder. I forgot about the old switcheroo. Um, I am not finessing into the opening bidder, that's for sure. So let's just uh, draw trumps. I want the king of, now the three no is actually a lot better. The, um, oh, three no is not, five diamonds is. So we'll rough that high and uh, draw trumps. I, it might be a singleton king of spades. It's starting to look a lot like that. Yeah. So we got the, the rest. So 11 tricks. So not too sure about that one. Missed a game, but uh, no one's bidding to it. Plus three. I'll take it. So two, no one got to five diamonds. Well, wow. yeah. So two diamonds, two hearts, partner bids two spades, and they chose to pass interesting choice but um yeah i think two hearts is like another reasonable choice i felt like it was going to get awkwardly placed but maybe i should have gone for it anyway uh that was this week's fun bridge um not super swing i was happy with all my choices except maybe uh showing a game force with hearts when i had spade support with an invite um but everything else pretty happy with um thanks all for watching hope you enjoyed this one big shout out to my patron supporters uh, without them, wouldn't be able to make this sort of content. So if you want to see more of this, um, please check out my Patreon in the link over there. Thanks all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.